Hi and welcome back to this tutorial on how to write a piano concerto and how to write in rondo form. So um, here we are, we're still in the A section, so we're um, at, at the early stages, at bar 36. And um, in the last uh, tutorial I said that we were just going to finish this passage and then move on to the modulation to the second section, the B section. Um, and I thought it would be nice to add some um, uh, and so add some wind parts to this. So uh, we're basically going from 6 to 4 to 1B to 2B to 1C to 5, 7, C, 5, 7 to 1. So we're just going to add, um, so common to all this um, is up to this point here is F obviously. So we can just um, put a nice high F in take these out <clears throat> so obviously the strings finish here so we can have the F coming in on the flute on this third beat Oops. So, um, so obviously it goes down to the E to coincide with the dominant seventh here. <coughs> <coughs> so that should be fine. Just hold that over. And so in the oboe part, we're just going to double that at the octave. I uh, need two voices here. Um, Okay, so that's that one. And here we need D. Now we've got one B here, called a one B. And then we've got two B. And then we've got one C. And then we've got a dominant seventh. And then. Okay, so let's just. Press uh, Shift and B to change the voices over to make it look better. And um, what we'll do is we'll just copy that into the f into the clarinets here, and we we'll have this F an octave lower, so we've got a nice spread of Fs there. Okay, so we want the B flat in this as well. So we'll just move that up to B flat, up to G, and then one of these can go to the A there. <coughs> and okay, so that's fine. And then in the bassoon part, we need. that B flat just have that as a crotchet okay that's that's fine so uh, the horn can just follow what the flute does uh, obviously down two octaves um, and we just have a fifth here and then the usual thing there. Uh, timpani, oh, I'm coming here. Because we're going to have a tutti section here, so it's going to be a loud section. Um, so here we just. Sorry, I don't spend an awful lot of time putting markings in, and I know I should, and I do at the end. Um, but I'll, I'll, what I'll do is going forward I'll just put in some markings just to show you what you know what we need to have here um, and obviously this is going to have a crescendo here 
<coughs> Up to F here. over. Yep. Uh, that didn't work. Yes. And if the double bass is doing that as well, down an octave. And then here we're just going to have a crescendo. And here we'd have markings here <coughs> we could have a turn on this on this C here turn um, so I might put that in um, and obviously the trill on the C here um, so that's brilliant so we're just going to move into the titty section let's have a listen to it and uh, we can do that next time so we'll just go back from, we'll go back from, uh, should we go back from the solo piano bit? Yeah, why not? Okay. Great, so uh, please do join me next time and uh, do subscribe and uh, if you've got any comments, um, more than happy to reply. Uh, many thanks.